Shrubbery Junction on the Shropshire Union Canal. Now this is uh, a very very busy place normally but the boats have sadly been lacking while we've been here. There's been a few but nothing like the volume we expected. One thing we have done as well is find a nice sheltered spot from the sun so it stays a little bit cooler in the uh, inside the boat which is great for us when we're trying to get to sleep later just to the right here this is one of the uh, yards of uh, the Canal and River Trust very historic building now as well Now this is the now defunct or uh, cut off uh, Newport branch which came off the uh, Strops Union Canal and gave the name uh, Norbury Junction which it's kept the name but it's definitely not a junction anymore and people are using this little stretch as the permanent moorings so it's a little, uh, it's not a marina and it's not linear moorings, I don't know how you'd describe it. But it's quite secure, that's for certain. Now on the right hand side, they're linear moorings. So it's not a load of boats all moored up. It's, uh, it's people's moorings. It's the left side what's normally jam packed. And again, it's uh, sadly, it's quite empty. I'm just wondering what impact all these uh, major stoppages they're having on the Shropshire Union because this is considered to be one of the uh, the canals to go on. And uh, it is a little bit of a concern. Now just here is the uh, tea rooms and the chandlery. Uh, normally uh, it's not locked, but everybody's gone home and they've put a lock on the gate. But uh, that is where you can get a few bits and pieces. And behind all that, as well, there's uh, an area though where the uh, people at Norbury have a paint dock and do a few bits and pieces uh, at the back. And also there's an air fleet as well at Norbury Wharf and a couple of day boats as well but uh, it's all locked up for now it's another beautiful day absolutely gorgeous we're doing well at the moment <laughs> uh, only one lock today and uh, it should be fine so we'll uh, we'll get on with it, and uh, if it keeps like this, it'll be fabulous. Now we're at Shellmore Embankment now, on the Shropshire Union, just after Norbury Junction, and this was Thomas Telford's uh, nemesis almost. <laughs> um, what it is when this canal was completed, Shellmore Embankment kept collapsing and he was in very very much in ill health now, Thomas Telford, and he struggled with this one and it took a long time for this to become stable. This is, this is boating at its best in magnificent scenery, that's for certain. There's not a finer canal. You can have a little bit of scenery in, uh, in different places for a little while but for mile after mile you just get spoiled on the Shropshire Union, absolutely. Well we've just come out of uh, the long embankment and it's absolutely stunning. The scenery just goes 
into into the stratosphere it's that nice <laughs> does make me laugh when I've, I've seen loads and loads of people saying oh this is gorgeous this must be the nicest and all that believe you me after all our years cruising scenery wise there's nothing to touch this area and possibly the Ashby Canal as well by far by far the uh, the nicest To, you know, and I've, we've give you an interactive map to follow now, if you want to do. We're currently on Bridge 37 of the Shropshire Union Canal. If you're following us, and we're continuing down towards a place called Brood, but it's spelled Breedwood, B A E W O O D. And we'll probably be mooring just past that at some point later today. This used to be one of our regular moorings down here, but uh, over the last few years we've been bypassing it. We either stay where we've just been at Norbury or somewhere around Brood. So this is like a bypass these days. in the sunshine, very good. Now again, the mystery's on the shroppy. The left hand side are permanently near moorings. The right hand side are private moorings which are normally packed and nobody's here. So there's definitely, definitely less boat movement around here at the moment. Now for those who've come down the Shropshire Union and uh, you want to uh, stop off here that's how it's spelt and as you can see that's how it's pronounced <laughs> Now along here if you moor up which like I said we're very surprised as it's normally quite busy uh, there's two pubs on the canal side one is where we are now, called the Navigation. And then when we go through the bridge later, there'll be one on the left, called the Boat, which I'll uh, do as we go past. Just can't believe where all the boat traffic is. Uh, can't go over it. But, that main road bridge there, what you see, if you walk, down that road that way into the village there is another pub there which is very nice but I forgot the name but also a fabulous fish and chip shop and that's well worth a visit so uh, just thought to give you a few heads up on things and now I can just see our overflow going there our water's full and we'll be ready to get going again. So we've passed the navigation and through this bridge is another lot of moorings. Which are empty. Oh, it's one more further down. Wow. Either everybody stopped moving around or because of the stoppages uh, in the northern part of the country, everybody's going down south. Now we're just waiting for this boat to come through. But on the left, as you go past, you'll see it's got quite a, an unusual frontage with it being half round. This is the boat pub, which we have frequented many times. And it was also uh, very popular down you know over the years with the uh, working boatman perhaps that's why it's called the boat <laughs> right. thank you I couldn't make a decision so I'm pleased oh, yeah, to all right. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> so there's a few boats here but not you know it's not packed like I said the left ones are people's own boats and uh, the right ones well, well when they say own boats it's the near moorings and the right what size for the uh, for people to moor Now this uh, North Old Tunnel, or what it's described as, is the only one on the Shropshire Union. Not that big. It was supposed to be a lot longer, but uh, things happened and it ended up being uh, just a very, very short tunnel. That is at uh, Bridge 33. Now the other thing what this is notorious for, it gets very narrow here. Um, coming up or coming down. And if you're on the if you're coming up, right we are going down. <laughs> but as you, as we are going down we've got the right hand side with no trees and that. But on the other side uh, that's got all the bits what stick out. But looking at it looking at it, it looks like it's been cut back a bit compared to last time, which is brilliant. Well, it's that time again, you know, we've seen it a few times. <laughs> Beautiful weather, not occurring in the world, and you're watching us. And it's come to that point where a lovely ice cold beer has arrived again. So I'll have to drink it. And this is Badger's Tanglefoot, absolutely gorgeous. So, as usual, all I can say is cheers and uh, I'll enjoy it. Oh, that's horrible. Only kidding. <laughs>
scenery. <laughs> we had some uh, lovely views in that when we was up the Clangoslin and the Montgomery. But this is every bit of man as magical. Yeah, it's fabulous. Absolutely fabulous. Where have you seen a boat on the majestic Shropshire Union Canal? Absolutely brilliant. A tunnel of trees is to best describe it. that's another one done for now another vlog will be on its way very soon don't forget you can subscribe you can like you can comment it's all greatly appreciated and it can all be done for free anyway cup of tea time Tara.